Nalazimo se u Strugi, malo mjestu u Makedoniji gdje trenutno traje i sami projekat. Mladene, šta imamo reći o samoj Strugi? Struga je po mom mišljenju idealno mjesto za projekt ovog tipa. Ono je mjesto na kome se istok i zapad susreću, sa druge strane imamo i prirodne odlike Ohridskog jezera. Ohridsko jezero je samo zaštićeno od strane UNESCO. Kad ti bude vjenčanje, doći ću struvu da kupiš kadnjeni. Koja? Čekaj, čekaj, stani. Pa je li ovo za tebe ili za djevojku? Za mene. Ajmo dalje, da imaš ti malo drugi izlog. Malo bole oče, ali je dobro. Čemo uzeti? Dobro su fora. Brze su naučene. Brze su naučene način života je... Ekstra. Koga prpa se zaljubi Činam kako torba da se rodi Vest Stružana i cijela ove regije je u posljednjih par godina jako porasla. Ono što je bitno da kažemo jeste da smo u prethodnih par dana posetili mesta, organizacije i kompanije koje se bave ekološki svesnim poslovima. A o tome ćemo pričati i kasnije. Tako je. Tako je. Dobro, mladene, mnogo nam je pitanje kako je za tebe da živiš u samu strugu. Bili si živio u struzi? Pa meni je ovo drugi put da sam ovde i jako volim ovo mesto. Nekako odiše, odiše životom. Možete da čujete i veselu muziku. Ljudi su nasmejani, ima mnogo mladih. To mi se jako sviđa. Da, mladi smo, baš smo zatekli puno mladih ljudi. Absolutno, a hrana u strugi je sasvim druga priča. Fenomenalna. Idemo sad da probamo šta? Probamo tri leće moje omiljeno. Tre leće, uu, idemo odmah sad, ajmo. E, stižu tri tri leća ili devet leće. Devet leće. Volim da se igram. Rečima. Pa smo mi proučili tri ili devet leća. Ej, hvala vam. Mladene, dobro si ubo. Koje mleko se stavlja? Ima tri vrste mleka. Ne znam. Aha. Četiri. Aha. Mladene, koliko iznosi jedan euro u denarima? Jedan euro? Pa zavisi koliko se dobro iscenkaš, pošto se ljudi ovdje cenkaju, ali tu je negdje oko 61,23. 61? Zarez 23. Zarez 23, dobro. Znam veden grad na jezero
Mladene, čuli smo da postoje mnogo lijepe makedonke. E sad, postoji jedna pjesma, koja je to? Pjesma ide ovako. Tu sa Teom. Tea je jedna djevojka koja će nam reći više o samom Okritskom jezeru. Tea. Zdravo. Možeš nam reći neke male informacije vezano za Okritsko jezero? Naravno. Dakle, Okritsa je proteže kroz gradove Struga i Okredi. Pored tih geografskih stvari, ja bih vam rekla neke zanimljivosti. Baš ovdje, na ovom mjestu, kod ove ponte tu, prije četiri godine, jedan lokalni građanin uspio da prekljeva cijelo Okritsko jezero i stigo je do Pokredeca. Dakle, to je druga zanimljivost, da Okrit nije samo Makedonije, već se nalazi i sa druge strane Albanije, odnosno preko puta na Sadije, Pokredeca, odnosno Albanije. Još jedna jako zanimljiva priča jeste, ukoliko uzmete neki kamen i bacite ga jako daleko, on će da se vrati i vratit će se i vidi puno vrata. Nema, nema, nema se rodi. Ćao svima, danas idemo na jedno malo mjesto koje ne predstavlja niti strugu, niti ohrid, već... To jeste Vepčanska republika sa svojim čuvenim izvorima, karnevalom i tvrdoglavim ljudima. Naša ekipa nije išla ranije na ovakva mjesta, a danas ćemo se potruditi da svu priču prenesemo onako kako zavidi nam i da vama približimo sve moguće detalje koji su bitni. Ja i mladen podrudit ćemo se da sve to obilježimo onako kako i treba, a vi ćete u nastavku emisije vidjeti sve informacije koje su zanimljive. Vidimo se! Oh, my God. 
Today we are here with Joe Kogredanowski from Macedonia and we will speak with him about Erasmus projects, about him and also like Erasmus guy who started Yale before uh, and then he will say something for you like message and something like that. So Joko, thank you for coming in our uh, film. Um, can you say something about you actually, you in Erasmus? And then after you can say something about your organization. Of course. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you for inviting me in your film. It's a great honor for me to be part of this film. And I think you guys are doing a great initiative with this uh, film. So other young people can learn more about this program and the opportunities that it offers. So uh, shortly, my name is Djoko Gardanovski. I am the president of Youth Council Next Generation from Skopje, North Macedonia. And I'm uh, in, uh, in this um, field, in the youth field, since 2010. Uh, firstly, I was uh, going to, to projects uh, to learn new skills, to meet new friends, to expand my horizons. And after that, we re I, I mean, uh, as I developed skills and, and things like that, I re realized that we can do some projects and some things for in this field for the young people, so that's how the idea for Youth Council Next Generation was born. And me and another enthusiast, enthusiast in this field, we created Youth Council Next Generation. And we started working with uh, this wonderful program, Erasmus, so we can create more opportunities and mobilities for the young people uh, from the Balkan and also from Europe in general. Yes. So we are here at Project Study Visit. So can you explain just what is Study Visit here and for people who will come to these like projects? Yes, of course. Thank you for your question. So this is a Study Visit and this Study Visit is a mobility included in a bigger project, which is a capacity building in the field of youth project. And the name of the project is Eco Entrepreneurship and Circular Economy. Uh, this study visit is uh, one of the uh, mobilities in this project and is especially constructed uh, to help youth workers mm -hmm. and the young people to learn from real life examples. And that's why we have this study visit. So they are on field visit here. They are visiting different entrepreneurs, eco entrepreneurs, businesses, green businesses, sustainability uh, businesses, also ecologic organizations. So they can learn from their practices and they can learn from their uh, their experience. So uh, they can uh, create a better picture about the eco entrepreneurship and uh, circular economy that they can incorporate in their uh, work with the young people. So about young people, can you just send like message to all of them who are watching and say why is the Erasmus project important for them? and to motivate them to be the part of this. Yes, of course. I just want to say that uh, this is a great program and I think that the young people should uh, take opportunity and use this program for their personal development. Uh, it's very important that they can develop their skills using this program. They can attend different training courses. They can also uh, expand their horizons. They can uh, meet new people. They can learn about different culture. And all of this is for free because uh, most of the costs, like accommodation and food, are covered with this pro project, uh, with this uh, program. So it's uh, it's a great benefit for the young people, and I think absolutely the young people should uh, use this program uh, more heavily.